Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and providing two brand new weapon posts which actually should help fix some of the issues with the Melty moving on into this new version. So let's take a look at that. Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic. So let's be honest, this particular version of the Melty Brain didn't perform too well, really. And I think there are a number of reasons for that, but uh, the primary one amongst them is that, first of all, it can do this. Uh, I mean, it can do this again because I've taken the bolts back out, but it really shouldn't need a tiny little wood screw in it, helping it to actually like throw itself back over onto its wheels. All the old versions of the Melty Brain have had wheels out the side, so there was never an opportunity to do the thing. So let's just strip that all back out again. Also, having the internalized wheels was just a massive, massive pain. Uh, and then of course, the weapons themselves were a problem. The six mil HDPE plate out the front here was warping and bending and stopping the belt from being the correct distance, meaning that the belt got lost every single fight, including the one right before uh, where we are now, because yeah, I have no belts on here right now. And that was just because they came off in a fight. This has shown that all I need is metal at the edges to fix this particular issue. So we're bringing back something that didn't work in the past, but might work for us here. This is the weapon arm out of flop. And this steel, we are going to grab and use in the new version of the Melty. My idea is to take the wheels and put them back out the sides, so they'll be out here. And then we're going to put steel front and back, holding these brand new tool steel plates and also holding the actual motor too. So the steel is gonna be the thing holding everything, which means that we should not in hit have things bend and buckle and cause the belt tension to disappear on us. But this is going to be difficult because to get the shapes that I want out of this, I actually need to put a really big drill through this and then also have that big drill run past the edge because I need clearance for this motor to kind of move around a little bit so I can change the belt tension the first time and get it right and then lock it in there. Uh, so I'm actually thinking I'm gonna drill all the holes in this first, including the big hole saw hole, and then I'm gonna cut it. All right, I am keen to try this out together because this is the kind of major components for this build. And I think I may have messed up the holes here, which means I might need to drill these out slightly bigger or at least one of them slightly bigger to make everything fit. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Now, this piece here slides in to the assembly like that. That might need to... I might need to shave those down a little bit, I think. Yes, okay, that one is a little raised. So we're just gonna not worry about that one and do this one, because that one fits. Perfect. That looks okay. Now let's put on this. Uh, is that the one I, I haven't cleaned that one up? Hang on, I've got a different one. Ha ha, we've got two of them, because we need two sides for the Melty Brain. And this should then lock in like that. So this is now the full stack up. Uh, we can't bolt bolts directly into this back panel yet because it is set up for heat insert nuts that have not been included, but uh, I can at least look down all the holes and see that things mostly seem to be lining up. So 
let's go ahead, and I think the back ones are the best ones. So we'll have a look at bolting all of this together, or at least putting bolts through and seeing and making sure that everything lines up. So, uh, okay, these bolts are not long enough, but they do indeed line up. That's good. Are these bolts the same size? I think they are. I think I'm gonna need to go and buy some new bolts for this. It's stuck on the steel, that's fine. We can round that steel hole out a little bit, get it to sit down a little bit better. Okay, that one goes through, and ah, that one is actually long enough to make it all the way to the back. Okay, so that's the size bolt that I need. Should work. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, just a slight change in a couple of those bolt hole placements and uh, that will work, it looks like. Beautiful. And there you go, that is now the weapon end of the Melty Brain, or actually that way around is the weapon end of the Melty Brain. I'm gonna copy these parts over onto there, and wham. And then there were two. So I've made two of these. Uh, they didn't quite come out perfectly. As you can see, some of these holes have had to be elongated and things to make things work. And I think there's even one that I've missed somewhere. I've got a text mark on one of them. I think it's this one that just needs to be rounded out just that little bit more. But for right now, we're going to do a test fit up. Well, in actual fact, probably almost a final fit up. I am very, very rapidly running out of time for making it to NHRL. So uh, we're gonna start pulling apart the old version because basically everything that's in here needs to go in with all of this stuff. I've also cleaned up all these parts and added heat insert nuts to a bunch of them. Uh, well, in particular two of them because those are going to hold most of the things together here, which uh, definitely needs to happen. Anyway, let's pull this apart and get this together. So that clap was supposed to be, uh, get us to here where there are two of these together, but I prepping to do the next little segment of build here, I uh, started to pull apart the old Melty Brain and I thought we needed to do this together on camera because when I take this wall off, which I can hopefully do now, I hope I've got all the bolts out of it. Um, oh, this one's got a bad bolt in there. So I'm gonna have to lift that straight up. Oh, that's gonna be hard to do. This one should come off though. Come on, aha. And here is what I was trying to show. The inside of these, where these motors were and where the wheels were is just filthy. The amount of arena dust we picked up over what, like three fights is ridiculous. Okay, so yeah, no, internal motors, just not good, just never, ever doing that again, basically. Yeah, gross. Okay, it is time to try out the new weapon system, or at least try putting on the new weapon system. Uh, this should be my smaller belt, I think it is, so let's throw that over there. That looks like it's gonna do the job. Now, the thing we need to do is get the wiring for this right, because the wires need to feed in. Oh, this is gonna be probably somewhat annoying. 
they kind of have to feed through the wall into the middle section so that those wires don't get cut by the metal that's in there because that would be a problem. Now, let's get this bottom bolt in because that is the first step here. Ah, and that could be a problem. Ah, there we go, okay. It's just a little bit finicky to do. I might need to trim these back a little bit because getting those bolts in. Okay, let's try this again. I've cut some recesses in here just so that I can actually get the bolts in that I needed to get in, because uh, that is always a good idea. So let's actually throw a weapon back on here which isn't actually too difficult to do. Thankfully, they just very easily slide on with these new weapon axles. And there's a bolt down the end, which I will need to get Loctite in America for. I'm not really sure I'm gonna be able to fly with Loctite. I can't remember if I've done it in the past or not, so we'll get the Loctite over there. It's a fairly easy substance to get hold of, especially in robot combat uh, type places. So we should be fine on that one. And then, we should also be fine on this one now. So, let's again feed the wires through first. There is just a little hole. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to show that on camera. But they do just feed, because they need to be, with the way everything lines up, above the rest of the electronics. And they may need to be cut down yet. But that is something I will probably do off camera later because it's not hyper important right now and in fact getting the robot done is way way more important so we'll get that done first all right so there we go we've got our swing on our weapon motor again we'll put the belt on with it swung all the way one way that's good now Get the other bolt, put it in there and swing it all the way back again. Hopefully this works and hopefully I can show you this working on camera. So pull across, there we go. And tighten down and those bolts are exactly the right size. Ah, perfect. That is actually exactly where it needs to be. I mean, this weapon is gonna hit the ground right now because I don't have the spacer standoffs in underneath, but that's fine, I'll do those off camera because again, I am running out of time for things here uh, and I need to get this video edited before I leave. So we're just gonna throw the other weapon on real quick and then we're gonna do a weapons test. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. The weapons are a touch unbalanced. They do start shaking the thing around when they get up to speed, which is gonna be a problem with the melting, I think, but I will probably end up uh, in a hotel room in the next couple of days, filing or sanding down uh, these weapons, just kind of getting them a little bit more balanced and a little bit better. I do have some other weapon options as well, so I may end up swapping to those just because these might end up being a little too unbalanced, which definitely could be a problem, uh, but we'll find out. I mean, the other thing that needs to happen too is I need to tune the Melty system again because the Melty is currently set up for wheels that are closer together than this. And uh, yeah, that's not gonna be a thing here. So we do need to just, just fix that up a little bit. I'll probably do that uh, at NHRL, I reckon, in their cages, because that will give me a better idea of how the whole system is working. The final thing we're gonna do right now is a very, very quick weight check. Hopefully we are all good on weight. The last time I weighed this, we were 100 grams under, but that was without a little bit here. Okay. 1.27, so that's fine. We're a little bit over our 100 grams under. 
Uh, so about 90 grams under, I think, which is good because that means that I can add in my standoffs. I can probably uh, change my um, weapons up a little bit. I can probably even run the slightly heavier weapons. I do have some slightly heavier weapons, uh, which I could potentially run. These are off the older version. They are running a larger pulley, which means they'll spin a little bit slower. But that might not be a bad thing. I'm definitely putting these in because NHRL does have a tip speed limit. I think I'm fine on it at the moment, but I will redo those calculations when I'm over there. And the bigger pulleys will definitely help uh, come back down underneath any kind of tip speed limit. So that should be fine. And yes, that is going to be it for this video. I think everything is actually ready to rock and roll on this Melty. Basically, there's like another hour's worth of work probably to do here to get this fighting fit, but uh, we'll do that over the next couple of days while I'm traveling. And yeah, I think these new tool steel posts uh, and metal outers are going to give a ton more rigidity to the weapon system. So I don't think we'll see that same issue that we saw at ARC's Havoc at NHRL. So that's gonna be exciting. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.